Welcome to Hype Train guys, today we've got a simple history one for you. This one's called Gurkha from World War II. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see a bit of fact about it, hopefully. It will. Uh, we're going to cover more history here as time goes along, so be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of history out there to cover. There certainly is. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, let's go for it. Gurkha, World War II. As soon as the British declared war on Germany in 1939, they immediately started mobilizing troops from the Commonwealth. Men from all over the empire joined the British forces to contribute to the fight. Among them were the Gurkhas. Before the Second World War, the Gurkhas were in service of the British Army for more than a century, fighting in all corners of the world oh. for the British Empire. Once enemies during the Anglo-Nepalese War from 1814 to 1816, the British found a mutual respect for the fighting abilities of the Gurkhas, and large numbers volunteered for the British Army afterwards. They came from the Kingdom of Nepal, a small country in the southern slopes of the Himalayas, working as wow. farmers and shepherds. Life in such a rough environment made them into <coughs> tough soldiers, who never questioned orders and did not see retreat as an option. Their motto was, better to die oh. than be a coward. Being among the finest Good soldiers one. in the entire empire, the British Army recruited Gurkhas whenever reliable manpower was required. Oh. Among the Gurkhas were several tribes that are considered more warrior-like than the others, but in times of war, men from other, less martial tribes were being recruited as well. During the war, nearly 250,000 Gurkhas were recruited by the British oh. in more than 40 battalions, in addition to the eight battalions of Nepalese army that also entered the war on the side of the Allies. That's a being a part of the British Indian Army in the first years of the war, the Gurkhas were deployed to the British Middle East territories such as Iraq and Syria, and to Northern Africa, where they fought against the Axis forces. It was after December 9th when the United Kingdom declared war on Japan that the Indian Army and Gurkhas were engaged on a higher scale, primarily to protect Malaya from the Japanese forces. They would go on to fight in Italy, Greece, Singapore, India, and Burma. <laughs> Even though the Gurkhas had a special reputation in the British Army, they were not organized as a separate formation. Battalions of Gurkha regiments were deployed to regular units of the army. Being a part of the Indian Army, which was under British command, Gurkhas wore the typical dress, the M37 khaki drill uniform with Bombay bloomers, long leg trousers that could be buttoned up to become shorts. Ah, they also carried the standard yeah. 1937 pattern yeah, web it's equipment. Quite, quite warm over By the end of the war, that, yeah. this uniform was replaced with a more practical olive green battle dress for jungle warfare. Gurkha soldiers that were deployed to Africa and later engaged in Italy wore the distinctive British uniform for these campaigns. What was distinctive for the Gurkha uniform okay. was their slouch hat, the trademark of the Gurkhas since the beginning of the 20th century. When not wearing the standard steel helmet, Gurkhas wore their Tarai hats, which were actually made of two hats sewn together to make them more rigid. <laughs> hats were wrapped with a light puggery and were worn tilted to the right side. Huh. Huh. Being incorporated in army units, Gurkhas were equipped with standard British weapons such as the Lee Enfield No. 4 rifle and Bren light machine gun and American weapons such as the Thompson M1928 and M1A1 submachine guns. However, each Gurkha carried a close combat weapon of his own, <laughs> a weapon that was distinctive to his Himalayan nation. More famous than their Tarai hats were their Kukri knives. Kukris were the Gurkha's favorite close combat weapon and were carried in almost every assault. On numerous occasions, Gurkhas attacked the enemy with a rifle in one hand a and a Kukri, kukri in, in the other. other. Yeah. Kukris were designed to be cutting knives their length varying oh, from 16 oh, oh. to 18 inches. They are distinctive for their forward curving blade, which is sharp only on the lower concave side. Ah, right. The legend goes that the shape of the blade resembles the shape of Nepal. Gurkhas ah, were very skillful yeah. with their kukris, could say. and were known to have inflicted severe damage in close combat on the enemy by using only these knives. Because of this, kukris gained an almost mythical status, with many stories told about them. One of the most famous kukri legends was that a Gurkha has to spill blood every time he took out his kukri from its scabbard. Oh. Therefore, if a Gurkha took out his kukri yeah, just to show run. it to someone, he would have had to cut, cut at least his thumb in order to respect the tradition. Wow. The Gurkhas proved to be fearless and ruthless warriors in combat. They never questioned orders and always fought vigorously no matter how strong the opponent or how important the battle. Their attack was always followed by the battle cry, Ayo Gorkali, meaning okay, the Gurkhas are upon you. 12 Gurkhas were awarded the Victoria Cross for gallantry cool. against the enemy during the war. 
more than 43,000 Gurkhas lost their lives fighting alongside the British Army mm, during World be War more II. Should medals then. Subscribe That's amazing though. Never, I, I, all the stuff I've up. seen about World War Two in the past, especially out that way, it was all about what I remember is all about the kamikaze yeah. bombers and that sort of stuff going on. I remember the war going alongside with Japan was pretty bad, and I remember growing up, my mum would be watching some films or whatever talking about like the Japanese were like yeah. not suicidal, but they were pretty bad as well. They like had this never you know never say die attitude. They would exactly. just go so, out there, and yeah. they, they are the Gurkhas. Good on them, man. That knife, the cookery knife. Of course, cool. you won't catch me using that very often. Get out of the cupboard ten times. You've got to cut yourself ten times. <laughs> Run out of room eventually. Cool, that's a tradition uh, and a half. Yeah, I've always known they were like it's one of the elite, and they were kind of like their own little SOS, SAS, S-A-S rather S-A-S, yeah. than SOS. But yeah, um, they gave their lives to us, so respect. Uh, let us know your thoughts, anything else you want to add about the Gurkha down below in the oh. comments. We enjoy reading those here. And as I mentioned in the intro, subscribe because we'll cover more history here at Hype Train as well. Um, so no, I think we'll leave that one there. If you're still around, thanks for joining us and we'll see you all soon. Catch you on the flip side.